The two-day conference was held to address the problems within West Indies cricket, and for Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, the symposium served its purpose. This event um, is already a success, I will say, because what it really was meant to do was to give an opportunity to CARICOM Caribbean stakeholders in West Indies cricket to express themselves at a forum where those expressions can become part of something to follow up. The CARICOM chairperson on West Indies cricket says the symposium helped to understand the need to address problems within West Indies cricket. For the last few years at CARICOM, the heads of government were feeling this pressure of wanting to do something about this super delayed turnaround in West Indies cricket. And we've come to the conclusion that we need to confront the elephant in the room. And I think that is what this conference was meant to do. Bring all the stakeholders together so that their facets and their vantage points could be expressed to everybody else. Prime Minister Rowley adds it will take a collective to fix the problems. He believes the governing structure for West Indies cricket needs to be addressed to move forward. A lot of the conversation in the last 48 hours had to do with a governance structure which obviously does not appear to be the best for the delivery that we anticipate. We expect that the response to that in some quarters will be, well, change it elsewhere, but don't change it by me. Have someone else do it, but I won't be doing it. That is not going to get us anywhere. Meanwhile, a report from the conference inclusive of recommendations will be prepared and presented to CARICOM heads of state at their next meeting scheduled for June in Grenada. And borrowing a quote from Sir Winston Churchill, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley had this to say about the future of the regional game. Let me just end this press conference on borrowing a bit from Winston Churchill. When he said, this is not the beginning of the end, but more the end of the beginning. We trust that as we go forward, we can impact on the situation by working collaboratively and disruptively as required. Kent Fuentes, TTT News.